Good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is Tuesday. Today's Tuesday and our local sales barn is actually open today but we're not going to go because um, we're behind still catching up from Christmas and stuff. Girls are doing homeschool. Homeschool. We just finished our work that we do together so they're doing their independent work. What in the and world? I just have to fill out the put names in. So this is our horse genealogy chart that Sophie's been working on on her own time. What do you think of it? It's gonna be Sabrina. Sabrina, she started it all. Storm. Gracie. The new guy. New guy. Um, Star. Sky. Stella. Willow. Finn. Yeah, so how many horses is that for us? Um, eight. Eight horses in three years, you guys. Four years. Four years? That's an average of two horses a year. Wow, we be nailing the horse thing. So last night we figured out a new use for these. These are now our bit warmers. How long did it take you to warm up the bit with that heat thing? A couple seconds. Uh, yeah, a couple seconds. And much better. If you guys uh, didn't see I got heated gloves for Christmas they worked amazing we so we bought these at the Royal Winter Fair in November and we have seriously used them so well I also got some wormer to go down to the barn for the cat it's true he ate a bunny not that long ago and his belly got really big and then it went down and then his belly got big again so I'm kind of thinking that maybe there's something else going on there not just a, a full bunny belly yeah. stop eating stop 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 Kenny ah all right, I had to turn the camera off there and kill my children. A time you or someone you love was scammed. <laughs> That's Sophie's write. writing prompt. What is it? What is it? I know what to write. Don't say it if it's going to be bad. I know. Not what is it? Camera. Not in front of the camera. Yeah, what people want to scam us. Anyway, so yeah, stress, you guys. We're waiting. Tomorrow is the vet check for the new horse. <laughs> we one. want him so bad. Gabby, how bad do we want the new horse? Really bad. Really bad. So I'm baking. I'm cooking. I'm cooking too. I have need two robots. I'm very good at, at that. cooking, guys. Here. Yeah, she's microwaving leftover chicken wings yesterday. With hot um, sauce on them. With hot sauce on them. Uh, yes. Um, when we were at the Christmas party, if you saw that vlog not that long ago, they had a potato and bacon casserole. Oh my gosh, it was so good. So I was like, I'm making that today. And it had onions so in it. it had onions in it. I love it, but I didn't put any in for you guys. No. Did you try it? No. You like onions? No. All right, you guys have to go for a minute while I figure out who scammed us, what Sophie's gonna write about. The field is empty. Hi, princess. Hello, I wanna do a quick brush on you. That's my goal right now. Get in the cross ties. Go in the cross ties. She's like, what is that? First. Yeah, I know. I'm just joking. There's a carrot. All right, so Gabby did a gross thing last night. She picked off all of the new horses' no, chestnuts. Only the, front feet. only the front feet. And I brought them for Stella. Isn't that the saddest thing? I, like, still forget. I brought them because Stella loves to smell horses' chestnuts. It's She's the way still. horses get to... Eat them. You don't eat them. She's like, I don't want, I don't care. See, nobody cared about them but Stella. Because Sophie's got carrots. Be careful because they kick each other. Hello. I have a bag here of chestnuts somewhere. A bag of chestnuts. Is this it? Nope. Nope. It might sound gross, but I'm keeping them. Emptied up my soul. You've heard it all before, honest but I know, uh -huh. left these years ago, I was young and I'm old, still care for the void, uh -huh. we don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow, never see the end of the night for sorrow, what do we do to love, what do we do to love, what do we do to love, when everything's said and done, what do we do to love, what do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love? 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 When everything's said and done.
plans on our lives for tomorrow Never see the end of the night, but we sorrow What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? makes a run for it. I just heard this big huge trotting behind me. She's like, I'm coming in. Still good for the void. Oh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night for a sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love? 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 When everything's said and done. Today in religion class, we talked about how when Moses was up on the mountain and God was talking to him, how he shook the mountain so the people would know it was God talking. And then we talked about how God still shakes mountains so that people can understand him and hear him. And we talked about how we listen. God doesn't actually shake mountains anymore because we've gotten so good at listening, I feel like. So we talked about all the other ways that God can show you if you're doing the right thing in life, if you're going down the right path. We talked about how Gabby's new horse, how um, do we feel like God led him to us or do we not? And some of the signs of God leading you to something are, Gabby, tell them a sign. Mm -hmm. Tell them a sign of how God leads you to something. How do you know when God's leading you to Fiona something? Fiona and Brandon both sent us the horse. Yeah, Fiona and Brandon both sent us the horse. So one day Fiona sent me a message and said I found a horse. The next day Brandon sent it to us and I was like, well, that's two times. Maybe that's the one. And then, um, usually if God is nudging you towards something, it'll all happen easily and just everything will just fall into place. We beat a lot of people. There's a lot of competition for him. Other people want him in our area. Uh, we were the first ones there and we were able to bring him home, uh, to try him, to trial him. And it's just all been working out bang, bang, bang in steps. And all those are ways that we know that God's leading us that way. Sophie, tell them how you would know if God's leading you away from something. Um, you wouldn't be able to go see the horse. Yeah, something would keep coming up. Things would keep coming up. Like somebody else would have beat us to the horse and we would have missed out on them. Or we wouldn't have the money for the horse. Or the barn that we board at would have said, no more horses, we don't have any more room. So if you're dealing with something heavy right now in life and you're trying to figure out which way God is trying to push you, think about is it moving slow, is it moving, is it flowing quickly and it's easy and it's just all going quickly 
to to the in the direction that you want it to go or are you fighting it every single step of the way either it's the boy that you want or the house that you want to move into the new job that you want whatever it is if you're fighting every single step of the way and it's all just a disaster stop and think about if that's the way direction that God is trying to push you so yeah we, we learned that today oh okay I got medicine for you dude because this guy be having a big belly and this is why I carry this bag with me all the time right right dude let's get you some medicine oh he likes that yeah he does ooh or not Anyway, there you are. He's like, I'm cold. There you go. You're good. Hope that makes you feel better. Ruby. All right. We are headed back up to the bar. I love her. I love her. She's so good for her feet. Yeah. Oh, look at her. She's tired. She's like, here, hold up my head. I'm excited for our, our chiropractor to meet her. I'm excited for the world to meet her. She's a whole different kind of horse. Everybody already knows her. Fiona said that when she goes, when, you, when you're on in saddle, you give her a little squeeze and she's like, what? And you give her another squeeze and she's like, oh, you want me to go? And then she kind of walks forward in a really good little forward trot. And then she gets halfway around the arena and she's like, oh, are we done yet? <laughs> and then she stops. And you say, no, we got to keep going. And then she goes a little forward trot again. And then halfway around the arena, she's like, oh, let's be done. We're getting good at putting miles on horses, I feel like. We're getting good at having horses. Yeah, we are getting good at having horses. Do you feel confident? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Ever since Stella died, I don't know why. I mean, because she's giving me her confidence. She's giving me confidence. I feel so much more confident now. I, I feel brave. Yeah. I feel brave and strong and powerful and in control of, of in control of it all. Hi. We're dealing with quiet Gabby today. Gabby, you need to be needing coffee? No. Gabby's mood swings are easy though. She's either quiet or loud and that's pretty much it. With an occasional sass thrown in for comfort. Just so we don't think that she's... No. Yeah, I make her put her head right down. Well, she's there. Oh, Mommy, see. <laughs> They're like, what's happening? I know, cause they want they want attention. They want to do stuff. Mom, if we close that door, close that door, and make sure nothing dangerous is in here, can we let Gracie roam free? Not right now. Yeah. Sam and I have left the children at home for our only time in life that we're alone. I was talking to my friend today and she was saying like, I can't wait to have a baby. And and I was thinking like, I've never been at home without a baby. Like I've never been at home without a child. I've never not had a child and had a home at the same time. Like the only time I didn't have a child was when I lived with my parents. So um, so we were doing our alone time and we checked some PO box and we got a couple of really nice letters. I got um, a card from Jill in the UK. I know who she is. It's beautiful. She sent this adorable ornament hat horse. I'm going to hang it up in our house, not just in fir tree. It's beautiful. She said that it reminded her of Stella. And I love that. Thank you so much, Jill. It literally shocked me that people sent us cards. I don't know why. It just did. But I'm so thankful. And then I got this. And it came from, an, from Amazon. I always love when things come so pretty like this. Like I don't even want to open. I just want to keep it like this. And then it says, "Keep your keep your gift of surprise." It gives you an envelope so you don't see what's in it, and tells you what like the paper that tells you what's in it is in here. So I'm trying to decide if I should open it now or wait until I'm with the kids. But yeah, forget the kids. <laughs> it's all about me right now. They didn't want to come. So the card says. Laura, Stella was your heart horse. Sometime in the new year, I would love to make you something with a piece of her tail. I thought you needed a necklace of your own. I'm sending healing thoughts your way from Allison Talbot. And that makes me want to cry. I don't know if I'm supposed to say her name. I think so. She has a YouTube channel. The packaging is literally beautiful, though. Even, even Sam is watching. He's like, hurry up, open it. The light's going to turn. It's beautiful. 
It's absolutely beautiful. You guys probably can't see, but it's a rose gold. Oh, it's emotional for me. It's a rose gold horse in a heart with a girl holding on to the horse's face and loving the horse. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. It is so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. A person and the horse are standing like that. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Allison. It is so beautiful. I'm so grateful for it. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done.